Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna take a look at and compare the Jasmine dolls that released here recently. The one, of course, at D23, the other one on Shop Disney. So stay tuned as we compare the boxes and the dolls and I definitely wanna know what you guys think. Okay, so again, this one is not mine. My buddy is buying this one off of me. Um, so once that's all taken care of, of course, she will be leaving my home, which is a bummer because I love her, but I'm okay because I have, thanks to my buddy Charlie, I do have the Shop Disney version of Jasmine and she's just as beautiful in my mind. So it's all good. But like I said, we're going to start with the boxes. In general, the shape of the box, the colors of the box, all exactly the same. Two differences on the front, of course, are limited edition one of a thousand and the D23 sticker, limited edition one of 5600 and no D23 sticker. Now, if we turn her to the, the back here, I'm pretty sure everything is exactly the same there. So yes, as you can see, um, exactly the same verbiage and everything. The only thing that's different, of course, is the Shop Disney barcode does not give a price. And then the D23 one does say $179.99 on there. Otherwise, these two boxes are literally exactly 110% the same. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open them up, take a look at them, and then we're gonna take a look at the dolls. Okay, so now we have the two dolls side by side. And of course, the biggest difference aside from a few other things, of course, is the pose in the box. Shop Disney to me looks a little bit more fluid, a little more, um, I don't know, a little more elegant. Then we have the very stoic D23 pose, of course, because she is holding the lamp there. Uh, so I do actually prefer personally the Shop Disney pose as compared to the D23 pose, but both dolls equally in their box look absolutely stunning. I just think the Shop Disney one actually fills the box a little bit more. The background, of course, is exactly the same. So we do have the Palace of Agrabah still on there uh, for both D23 and Shop Disney. I do love that they gave us that. But now let's go ahead and dive into the nitty gritty. The main details, of course, that are completely different. Well, first off, let's start with what's the same. Body and face mold. Exactly the same. We like that, right? Yes. Okay. Now let's get on to everything else. So, of course, on the D23, you can see there she has a braided portion in her hair. On the Shop Disney, it's just a twist. Of course, speaking of her hair, she has a headdress on the D23. No headdress on the Shop Disney. I really think they actually kind of gave us the shaft there on that one. I think they easily could have included something, but... You know, it is what it is. Uh, coming down, her earrings and her necklace are exactly the same on both dolls. Nothing is different there. The top, however, of her dress or her outfit is completely different. So the only thing that's the same is the poof sleeves. You can see here on the Shop Disney, she has a sweetheart necklace with some light embroidery and then a heavy embroidered collar at the bottom. Whereas on the D23, it's a completely different shape altogether. Plus we have metal flowerettes on there. So massive difference there. The other big difference from this whole portion of the area, or I guess of the outfit, is the Shop Disney one has a shawl and there is no shawl on the D23. So there is another difference. Another similarity is the gold bangles on both wrists are exactly the same for both the Shop Disney and the uh, D23. So those are literally the same, as well as the gold medallions and the gold chains at the waist. However, D23 does have purple and green beaded bracelets. Those are not present here, which come on, that couldn't have been that hard to do, but mm, anyways. Um, the other thing of course is the metallic or metal lamp that D23 Jasmine comes with. This Jasmine of Shop Disney has zero elements when it comes to accessories, which I'm kind of like, yeah, it is what it is. Um, what are you gonna do? Then come the huge changes. So the whole bottom half of Jasmine is completely different. Um, on D23 as compared to Shop Disney. Uh, the, of course, there's like a multi-layer skirt going on here with some embroidery. We have a two-layer skirt uh, with the embroidery as well as in the satin um, skirt. We only have the embroidered skirt on this one. And then the pants themselves have embroidery and golden cuffs are on the ankle. We don't have that on the Shop Disney version. However, the shoes are exactly the same. Now, the one thing that the Shop Disney and the D23, when it comes to embroidery, do share, and I'll bring in my other Jasmine, is you can see here, one back panel is exactly like the D23 embroidery. The rest are that more simple version of her. So, you know, that, I'm like, okay, I, I see what you did there, Shop Disney, but hey, she's still pretty. Uh, it is what it is what it is. That's my, that's my, you know, my mantra in life, I guess. Um, there is not a whole lot we can do about it. I know a lot of people felt very jilted or cheated out uh, when it comes to what they gave us on the Shop Disney doll. Guys, D23 is an exclusive event for people who are able to go. So of course they're gonna get different stuff and it's gonna be a little bit more elaborate. The prices are higher. It costs a bunch of money to go there. I, I mean, it's gonna be different. It is what it is. And to complain about it doesn't solve it. And really there's nothing to solve. It 
it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> this is a specialty event uh, that is ticketed and you have to wait in line forever. And these were $30 more. Now, do I look at this and say there's a $30 difference in them? No, I think there's more like a 50 or $80 difference in them, but this one's 150, this one's 180. $30 difference. Um, granted, there's 5,600 of this. There's only a thousand of this one. Um, so, you know, that does have another, you know, play on things. However, guys, seriously, complaining about it isn't going to make them change it. Uh, D23, like I said, is an exclusive event and it's going to have completely different items available um, and items that are a little bit more higher caliber. And that's how life goes. So, that being said, there they are side by side. There are the differences as well as the similarities. I love them both. However, personally, honestly, I really do like the Shop Disney one more. Jasmine is a no fuss, no frills girl. Um, and I feel like this is just too gussied up. There's too much going on. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but there is a lot to look at. This is more, to me, is more Jasmine. Um, and I love the purple. I absolutely so happy they gave us the purple. So, you know, I do think both of them are absolutely gorgeous. This one actually is my favorite. So, and I'll probably get a lot of hate for that. And guess what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. What do you think of them? Did you grab them? Did you grab the D23? Did you grab the Shop Disney? Did you say no thanks on both? Um, it'd be kind of fun now, I think, to take this Jasmine and compare her to... Those Jasmines, don't you think? That might be kind of fun. We'll see. You never know. I got lots of time on my hands, right? No, not really, but still. Anyhow, guys, that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section down below. Hope everyone's having an extra magical day, and we will see you real soon.